problem, and it's still happening. It's been three years now. It's happened like five times, and it's so sporadic. You know, it's every six months to a year. And uh, um, the next step in the process, as far as I've, I've looked up, is that I need to send, you know, uh, get a letter in triplicate, send it to Ford Motor Company and that kind of thing, and uh, then they um, go about, and I send a, a copy to the state attorney's office, and then they go about um, trying to fix it one last time or something I, like that. I got I an know idea. If I, I got an idea. Or, or what goes on here. Why don't you find out the dealership, the guy who owns the dealership, find out where his kids go to school and go, I'm just going to drive my car around the school just to see if it happens until it happens again. This way, when right. you go crashing through a school and you wipe out the kids, you could tell them, oh, hey, I was, uh, you didn't find the problem. It wasn't, wasn't my fault. It was your fault. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. This guy's got, that's a real problem that he has with his car. It's not just, uh, you know, his light isn't working or something. The engine's cutting out. Yeah, I think what happens when you get to that level, when you, like, for example, Ford, I, I had an issue a while back with the BMW, and it was to the point where BMW sent a representative from, uh, or sent a representative from the company to, right. to look at the car. So I think what Ford would do is they would send somebody from the, the Ford factory, if you will, to officially look at or diagnose whatever the problem may be, and then to say, "Hey, look, if we can't you know fix it, then the papers are filed with the state. You're going through the proper chain you know process there, and then the company or the dealership has to make a decision on how best to to remedy or right the wrong." Yeah, and, and uh, another thing that might help you out a little bit quicker. Uh, last week on the show, a guy called and he said he had a lemon law issue and he didn't even name the dealership, but he did express that that dealership was having some sort of anniversary. And I don't, and I could even today, I couldn't tell you what dealership it was. Uh, well, but the, the, the thing is, I mean, the I, dealership heard him say that and he emailed me and said they immediately contacted him and fixed the problem. So, well, you know, I mean, they do, they do advertise with you guys, believe it or not. And I, I wouldn't want to throw the dealership under the bus. It seems like something that they just can't find. I mean, legitimately, they didn't feel like making it up, but they all, they're, they're so sure that there's that, um, I'm sure they're not making it up, but I think they're almost looking at me like I'm creating the problem or just making it up, you know, out of my rear end when I run my own business. I tow a trailer, so either I'm going to destroy my business or kill my family when this when I go head on in traffic some at some point, and it's not going to end well. It's just been lucky so far. Well, uh, that's not good, and I don't want to be. I wouldn't want to be the one uh, behind the wheel when this thing dies out or does whatever it does. So I would definitely protect yourself. And uh, I would call Dom's office and file the right paperwork and do it the right way. 813-251-5550. Anthony, you're on Ask the Dom. What do you got, Anthony? I've got a tint issue. I lost my citation. Um, improper equipment is uh, the infraction. What did you do in order to get the ticket? Were you speeding first? Did they pull you over? In a... No, no. Where we were, were just, you? You know, making uh, a, a U-turn, and we were just kind of facing each other, and he kind of saw that my front window looks a lot like my back window. You tint the front window? Yeah, all of them are the same. The whole, uh, the whole window or just that strip up front? No, 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 all, all the windows. So right away, I assume drug dealer. <laughs> What are you trying to hide? What, what? So, who are you? That's so important that you have to sit behind tinted windows in the windshield. Uh, I have sensitive eyes. You, oh. uh, <laughs> all right. So he pulls you over and he gives you the ticket. And what do you want to know? If you, get, I mean, I'm no lawyer. I didn't take that bar exam yet, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to tint your front window. Yeah, you know, I I understood that when I did it, but uh, you know, I've been six years with it, and this is the the first time I've had you know any paperwork on it. I just want to know if it carries points because I you know I'll pay the citation. It's you know it's worth it. No, you're not you're not going to get points. Uh, more likely than not, it's a non-moving infraction because it's improper equipment. Uh, number one, number two, it's a safety issue. If you got sensitive eyes, legally, I recommend you wear sunglasses, and I would take that tint off so you can see properly through the windshield. Uh, but you know you can just go ahead and, and you can contest it and see if the if the officer doesn't show up and then you can you know ask the court for dismissal rather than wave the white flag. So let me yield that advice first rather than just having you go pay the stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know that would be a, a good fighting chance, so to speak. But usually they have a little monitor, a little tint monitor. Yeah. They come up and you know, and they'll, but obviously you can't have it on the front windshield. You smoking pot in that car? Is that what it is? Allegedly. No, no, not at all. All right. All right. You know, if you tint your windshield, you, you don't have to wear sunglasses. And when you wear some of these sunglasses, there there are some uh, blind spots for your peripheral vision. So I, I don't think uh, 
it's really that far off norm. All right, the guy did his homework. I went. If I would do what Dom said, I would contest it, and I would go there and I would tell them that uh, exact same thing. Say, hey, we live in Florida. It's sunny. This is why I did it. Helps me with my eyes. And see how that works out for you. Worst comes to worst, they go, nice try. Dominus Fabiscus, pay your fine and you're out. Dominus Fabiscus. All right. Well, thank you very much. Right, good luck to you. Did I, I say got, that right? Say it again. No, I'm not saying it right. No, I, Dominus, I believe. Dominus uh, Fabiscus? Dominus Fabiscus is what I say, but it comes from a movie, which you should see, Dom. You would like it. Oh. There was a movie in the 80s called Heaven Help Us that starred um, Andrew McCarthy and Kevin Dillon, a young Kevin Dillon who went on to be Johnny Drama from Entourage. And at one point, he sneaks into the confessional. And when a guy comes in and he confesses, and he's bored with the confession, he wanted to hear something good, and all he heard was a couple of impure thoughts, and he, he tried to rush him out. He goes, all right, go say a couple of Hail Marys, Dominus for Biscuits, and get out. You know, And <laughs> I remember that forever. And then when Kevin Dillon was on the show, I asked him, and he said it's Dominus for Biscum. I've been saying it wrong, but I can't go back yeah. to it now. Now it's Fabiscus. <laughs> Fabiscus is, yes. is the cousin to the hibiscus plant. Do, that's right. I mean, yeah. so the what fibiscus. are you, a horticultural specialist? What I are you am. Doing over there? Here's a hibiscus and a fibiscus. <laughs> They're uh, cousins. So why are you unpopular with the Chicago Police Department? Oh, that's the greatest movie ever. <laughs> uh, let me take one more, and then we get out of here. Shane, you're on with Ask Dom. What do you got, Shane? Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, just a quick question. Uh, I had a fun pass, you know, on the 589. Yes. I, I got canceled, so I... I ran a bunch of tolls, and I was billed for them and paid them every time. But well, first of all, let me just tell you, Shane, you are you are reciting the same exact so far issue that I am going through. Why was it canceled? Shane? I'm not sure why it was canceled. Maybe oh. they uh, kept I, I honestly don't know. Okay, but well, I'm with you so far, and I'm trying to see if maybe uh, yeah, I'm not I the only one with the problem. In my account, maybe. I mean, I don't have the account you do. You know what I mean? Well, I did. I didn't do it, and even even if I did, for some reason, I have like an overdraft protection. So there's no way right, right. that I would have gotten. They, but they said that they kept trying to bill my account, and that it and it wouldn't it bill. So they just shut it off, and then they don't notify you that they've shut it yeah. off. So for the next three months, I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Thinking that my son pass is paying for it, exactly. and, I, and and I get an overdue bill for like two hundred dollars. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I paid him. It was like fifty dollars, forty dollars here, whatever. Right. I squared up with him every time. Six months later, I get a four hundred and thirty dollar ticket from Hillsborough County. I guess the state turned it over to Hillsborough, even though I paid him every time. Right. And now I have a I have a court date in October. I want to go see the traffic judge. Well, the, fir I don't the know first. Is that something he can help me with? Or? Well, sure, we can help you with that. Uh, it'll be in front of Magistrate Judge Foster here. Um, they have, I believe, it's one Friday a month. They have a representative from the toll authority that's here. here I'm going to go need to see that guy, I think. Uh, the problem that you have is when clients hire me um, for toll violations, a lot of times it's multiple violations in multiple counties. It's right. not just like, so if you go to the clerk yeah, of one county. Yeah. You're not going to pay all the surrounding counties. This is true. I'm in Pasco and Hillsborough every day on my way to work. So the right way to do it is to call a law a law office, whoever, me or anybody else. It make a difference. You call a law office and, and you say uh, what the issue is. You have you hire their office. They will research all of the counties or the entire state right. where you have issues. Then they'll quote you like what I'd call. I say, okay, you got five issues in four counties. Now I know what I have to do and where I have to go. I can charge you accordingly. And then six months from now, you shouldn't get. A four hundred dollar bill. Gotcha, uh, okay. and that's what's happened to this caller. But yes, we can fix it. All right. If um, if, if if I go there, say on my own, is that I have a good driving record? Is there a chance? Have you heard of them? Like. For giving the four hundred, because uh, uh, I did square up with the state every time. Well, absolutely. I mean, you don't necessarily need to hire me for this. I mean, you would basically be you. talking to the the toll authority representative. Uh, sometimes okay. they may dismiss some of the citations or the toll violations and or Judge Foster. Yeah. You'll still have to pay something on them, or, or maybe not. I'm not going to be disingenuous. Okay. Yeah, they, they'll probably cut you a break. You may not need okay. me, but yeah, then I mean, again, it's financial hardship for me. That's a lot of money to me. You know? Well, sure. <laughs> But you want to make yeah. sure you don't have this problem reoccurring. Right, which right, is which right. is going to come back to keep biting you in the ass. Good luck to you, sir. 813-251-5550 is the number if you want to get a hold of Dom's office. They they uh, I, I did the same thing this guy did. I paid. They send you a couple of bills. Say, hey, you got violations. All right, you pay them. And then uh, one day I, I went online to add a new Sun Pass, and they told me my account was canceled. And I go, how is it canceled? I use it every day. And they're like, you have an outstanding balance, so I had to go pay that. No, no, no. So I don't know. When you deal <laughs> with each county, and then you deal with the DMV, and then you deal with the state of Florida through Tallahassee, you've got three different entities. 
and it's very rare that they all are act, you know, are interacting correctly. Gotcha. You okay. know, not nothing against the system. It's just sometimes it doesn't go very smoothly, and then you have these problems. The best way to protect it is you hire a lawyer, uh, let them file the paperwork accordingly, and, and protect you. I'm going to go talk to Judge Foster and see what we can figure out. <laughs> we need to fix this, I think. i tell you what. You want to talk about one of the nicest, most fairest uh, uh, judges uh, that has been around for a very long time doing traffic is that man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just, uh, I mean, look, I've lost and I've won. I mean, so he is fair across the board. There's no favoritism either way. But, I mean, if you go in there and you're not represented, he'll explain to you what's going on. Uh, he, he looks at your record. It doesn't just throw the file and say, all right, get out of here. He looks through the record. You can request uh, your drive. A lot of people don't know this. You can request from the judge when you're there. Uh, for the court to release your driving record. Right. Uh, and th- the court would do that. And it may save you the additional uh, time to go to the go DMV, it, yeah. another 10 or 15 bucks here or there. But if you're in there and it's a, a, a comprehensive record, if it's a, a page or two, it's like what I call a three pager. Sometimes they'll release that uh, to you, and then you can have it for your record. Then you can see what I've missed, what I owe, which counties. It's all listed there. And when you're done, he goes, Dominus for biscuits. <laughs> the cousin of the high biscuits. There you go. <laughs> Dominic Ferriello is our attorney. You can get him at 813-251-5550 or always online at askthedom.com. Dom, great to see you today. Thank you for your help. Yes, it's great to see you guys, uh, as always. And Next of course, Thursday, my, you'll be here? Uh, uh, yes, I'll, I'll be here. We're doing uh, the late Dom. Late Dom, because then we go over to the Hard Rock for the uh, One Table Poker Tournament. And then Friday, we're back there for the First Responders Benefit. We may just get a room oh, to spend the night that's there. that's right. Not together. Oh, wait, separate room. Wait, 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 wait. We get the economy package uh-huh. here. Spanish is and get your hand off my leg. Whatever. Ho- homo Zabiscus is not happening. <laughs> Where's your hand? Between two pillows. <laughs> we'll take a quick pillows. break. Uh, at the top of the hour, Galvin will have news. We got Sporkle. I got your Mayhem Fest tickets to Cowhead Show. The Cowhead Show. The new 1025. You remember playing trains in automobiles? Oh, yeah. It was yeah. Ready to yeah. Ah! <laughs> 